to achieve great success working from home and how to increase networking like even when you're home so oh. i guess that would be for you <laughs> okay so uh, let me share my story a bit i moved into uh, two years and a half ago but it was COVID, right so uh i i got to know the the cashier in spar and that's it and i started sort of like speaking up that i live here in october last year i guess because i travel a lot i travel like half of the year from the year so i really i i travel and um in october i i uh, I think it was 20th of October. I had a first speech here in the country. It was about this Liberland project. It's like a country, whatever, uh, based uh, founded by libertarians. And uh, since this October, I wasn't here for three months. And I came back two weeks ago from Bali or from Malaysia. Uh, and uh, I went to an event. And I thought that I don't know anyone. People started coming to me and they were like, oh, you're that Samuela Davidova. I'm like, who are you, you know? And this is the magic of uh, personal branding and self-expression and social media and especially LinkedIn from the like professional platforms. I say about personal branding that it's not something extra you do, it's everything you do. So if your LinkedIn profile is empty and you have your high school listed over there, congratulations. This is exactly the way you show yourself to the world. But if you communicate what you do, what's your progress, you work on yourself, even if you do not have any, let's say, uh, as guys were mentioning, the social proof, it, social proof is really good. You know, when already someone tells you, wow, what an amazing work done and so on, share everything, ask for, uh, ask them if you can share and just really speak about what you're doing because this shows the world that you're actually working <laughs> and already just this fact that you start mentioning this it makes you stand out so yeah like i communicate myself and my some i currently like cooperate or do work on some 10 stuff uh, plus my public speaking and content and stuff and it really pays out so i recommend you to also it's not only good for a professional level but even on the individual level because many people just spend far too much time on social media and what's actually the thing how to get to know some new people who might be relevant to you who might be sharing your values through self-expression so if you express yourself if you express what you believe in what are the values you live by so like-minded people start coming to you if you'll be you know there's this uh, movie idea so that you will be sitting at home and you know uh, especially artists have this I, I used to work with like film people and uh, especially actors you know like you're sitting at home you're so 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 talented and you really know it you know like you could let's say you could be in Hollywood but just the word doesn't know and you sit home and you wait so that someone will knock on your door and will come and say, I found you, you're so talented. No, it doesn't work. This is a fairy tale. So come and speak out, make your first post, share, even if you're just learning, just share your progress, show that you learn, show what you learned because other people who are also learning will be curious about this. There are just endless amount of things you can communicate, just literally something, not your breakfast, please, but something that will actually move you ahead. Now, I have this screen. Uh, it's in Russian, but there's written, uh, for what decision today you would thank yourself in a year? And if you create this one post and if you will create it and if you, or if you will schedule some other posts for the next days, you will really thank yourself in a year. I have some 5 millions of reach, so 5 millions of people reach on LinkedIn yearly. Yeah. Just the, the last question that came to me was which uh, paying platforms would you recommend like aside from PayPal? Because they have like a crazy amount of commission fee. Oh. No, actually, <laughs> so PayPal really? has lowest, so PayPal, so if you transfer amount less than 
2500 it will only commission five dollars so basically it takes like is that is, is from experience it took five dollar on five dollar transaction yeah so, so it's the it, same it, it, as yeah, like yeah it, fixed, it has minimum five dollar and mm -hmm. but it takes five dollars for hundred dollar or two hundred five hundred yeah uh, two thousand and five hundred is maximum so okay. so yeah so i think paypal is still the best um I, i've tried others i, I, I don't remember <laughs> yeah but it it has basically it has bigger rate it mm. it, it was percentage but still uh, i transferred about 500 dollars as i remember and commission was uh, around 15 dollars so yeah. which one Pay on year, yeah, 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 yeah. Pay, pay on year, yeah. So this is, yeah. So okay. PayPal is still the best. Thank you. I I started PayPal with my Czech passport and Georgian residency card, and they blocked me. And I'm not the only one. Like there are companies who are being blocked in general. I would recommend you to diversify your bank accounts if you have to use bank accounts or use cryptocurrencies please because uh with cryptocurrencies you're actually owning your money and uh if you have bank accounts i think i have uh my wise bank account which you can just create online and i have there my georgian re uh, georgian address and georgian residency because the problem as a georgian you cannot just open i think all the uh accounts like uh, some especially some online ones they are accepting various currencies I, I i don't know which platform you have to use for upwork but um I, as a georgian business entity i st wanted to just start selling some things online and i had really issues with this so one way i accept money is via buy me a coffee which is <laughs> ridiculous but they do not actually take any fee just for the card processing and you may actually think of this too if you are creating something you can sell there even your ebooks and so on so it's not just like a recurring payment i, I don't like recurring payments so people just pay me for one-on-one -on -one sessions and so on uh, question. so how, how do you transfer money from buy me coffee to your account Is um mm -hmm. uh no uh they have uh their stripe if you would have stripe or i think even paypal it could be direct if i remember well but uh because i don't have stripe i cannot have stripe as a georgian business entity and i don't want to register with my czech passport because i pay taxes here so i want this to be straight because otherwise the platform would be sending um like financial statements to my czech country and then i don't want to have bureaucratic problems uh most countries in the world are super bureaucratic georgia is really good in this and um uh, so what i do is that i get money for my i, I get there connected directly my vice bank account and they pay me out every week if i just request this yeah but this is just one of way then i accept again like cryptocurrencies or i have a revolut bank account but i don't recommend it because they sometimes stop my payment of once they stop my payment of four dollars to a check a governmental service which i found super ridiculous i'm using wise i'm having solo bank account here in bank of georgia which is really good like georgia has very good fin like a banking system but i would recommend if you can just set up some other bank account uh, and as best in some other country